2021. And I'm so blessed to be in front of you all. I just also would like to greet all our uh, viewers uh, at the online church. Uh, God bless you in your homes and with your family. God bless you always. I don't know about you, but it was really uh, a feeling of redemption. It was a feeling of cleansing. It was a feeling of God's power in this place this evening. I really felt that. Did you feel it? Amen? We have to enjoy tonight's service. Are we blessed? Amen. 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 And we are indeed victorious. It's so nice to hear some of victories, some of our kaigsuunan. And God continues to work wonders in our lives. Amen. Amen. And tonight, as we have the slides up there on the on the screen. Now our life is a mere reflection of God's goodness and faithfulness. As we reflect on our lives today, we can see that in all aspects of our lives, God has always been with us. Sa mga panahon na naglisota, remain on that slide please. Panahon na naglisota were the times that you did not know God was lifting you up. God was elevating you, increasing your faith. Now, life without prayer are like plants without the sun. Now, if you look at this picture, this is the end in mind. So we are going to begin with the end in mind. Magunahuna ta sa katapusan sa pagsugod. So we have to think that is our goal. To be up there in heaven. To be taken to heaven. That time will come, my brothers and sisters. And it's very important that we prepare ourselves because that time is going to be a victorious time. Now, prayer is an essential connection that recharges, motivates, and increases our strength towards blessing. Do you believe in that, my friends? Prayer is an essential connection between you and God that gives you strength, it recharges you, it motivates you for blessings to come. You know, I always say this, for us to be able to receive that anointing that comes from God, we need to get rid of what we have in our hands so that we can receive more that comes from Jesus Christ. And tonight, we're going to be talking about prayer in the church, having that intimate relationship, that communication between you and God. And that is the solution to a lot of problems today. We lack the communication between our Maker. And that is what I'm trying to share this evening for that every one of us will be able to be united in Christ and see a bigger picture of the purpose of your life in this world. Let us pray. Father God in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for your for giving us this night, Lord God. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for everyone here in attendance. I pray, Father, that, Lord, your Holy Spirit will be amongst us, Lord God. Touch our hearts. Mend our wounds, Lord God. Release comfort. Give us strength. Lord, we adore you. We praise your name because you are worthy of it all. And, Lord, Father, we thank you, Lord, for the, the things and plans that you have in store for our lives. I pray, Father, as we connect to you, I pray, Lord, that you will intervene in every decisions that we make, that we can see a clearer path, a goal that for us to work on. Lord, I pray, Lord, for our individuals that is here and those who are still on their way. I pray, Lord, for your protection, and I pray, Lord, that you will touch our hearts, dear God. Bless us, O oh Lord, as we receive your word. May your name be magnified. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. It is important that we all follow through in our commitment to the Lord in increasing our prayer life. Um, some people will say, I'm not capable. I'm inadequate. But you are just causing yourself or belittling yourself when you know that the key to a successful life is having a prayerful lifestyle. You don't need to memorize a prayer. A simple, heartfelt prayer 
is all it takes to move God. Just a, just a prayer like, Lord, I'm going to be driving to work. Lord, give me the presence of mind. Give me the strength to be able to drive. Lord, I pray, Lord, for the food that is in front of me. Bless my heart, my stomach, that I can be purposeful this morning. It is very important that we have that relationship communication with the Lord. And it's also important that I always encourage everyone, church members, every first Saturday we have soaking and immersion. You know, a lot of our pastors always continue to say that please be involved with the soaking and immersion because in that time, to be with the Lord in prayer, to be immersed, to be soaked by the Holy Spirit is such an overwhelming experience that I encourage everyone to come every Saturday, first Saturday of the month, and you will experience the, the experience that you have never experienced before. And you will be encouraged, my friends. When we steer the heavenly realms in prayer, we fuse ourselves to be one with Jesus Christ. You know, that is, kumbaga, kung bak apay istoryahan. Jesus Christ is the best backup. Now, brethren, we are living in troubled times. Mga Ixon, nagapuyo takaroon sa mga kuyaw, deadly, troubled, kubot na mga panahon. And it's very important, my friends, that we have that inner security that only comes from Jesus Christ. I know that we all have problems. I know that you are going through a lot your marriage, in your workplace, in your businesses. But sometimes we need to have a time where we need to kneel in prayer. We also need to look out outside, not just for our city, but also for our country. And there's a lot of rumors of war. There's medical issues that is going on, that is giving us anxiety. But I was just researching or just looking through what Bruce Lee once said. Do not pray for an easy life. He once said, do not pray for an easy life. Pray for the strength to endure a difficult one. Life is never easy. The problems that we face is always given. But no matter how thick the problems that we are going through today is never as wide as the love of God for you. We just need to endure. And what kind of endurement do we need to have? Samot na kong uban ang ginoo na to. Amen? Amen? Now, I would like to ask our, a question. Are you battling different challenges? Kamuray po yung mga kapagay. Are you confused? Are you disturbed in the sense that you are unsure? Are you fighting for your marriage? Have you failed in your dreams? Have you lost a loved one? You know, looking back in one of the news, I saw a man just save someone from jumping off the bridge. A very young lady a lot of people are committing suicide because they are confused, they are depressed, they are frustrated of failure. Did you know mental uh, disabilities or mental condition is a very silent killer? And we need to be very cautious of that. And one major factor of that is they lack the knowledge that God loves them. And God loves you. No matter what trouble that you are facing right now, you have to remember that God loves you. You are important. You are needed. And you have a purpose. Sorry. Now I'll be looking at 1 Timothy. If you have your Bibles with you, kindly open to 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 to 8. And I'll try to discuss this to you verse by verse. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 to 8, and it says, I urge then, first of all, that petition, prayers, 
intercession and thanksgiving be made for all people. We must come to a point in our lives that praying is just like having breakfast. It is an essential part of the day. Dili lang bitaw puto i-memorize na to. Dili lang bitaw puto sa kung say atong naanda. But it must be so essential that it must be done. Verse 2, for kings and all those in authority that we may live peacefully and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. Verse 3, this is good and pleases God our Savior who wants all people to be saved and to come to knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator between God and mankind, the name Christ Jesus who gave himself as a ransom for all people. This has now been witnessed to at the proper time, and for this purpose I was anointed a herald and an apostle. I am telling the truth, I am not lying, and a true and faithful teacher of the Gentiles. Last but not the least, verse 8, Therefore I want the men everywhere to pray, lifting up holy hands without anger, or disputing. There is power in prayer. Amen? Sometimes, prayer is always the last recourse. Kung baga, diha na tamu ampo, kini wa na ju posibling may tabo. Why can't it be the first priority? Sometimes we prioritize unnecessary things in our lives that we forget. The first priority is going to the Lord in prayer. You know, I have witnessed through my years of being alive. I have seen sick people being healed. I have seen a lot of people blessed because of faith and prayer. And I believe, my friends, brothers and sisters, whatever you're going through right now, give it to the Lord in prayer. And you will be amazed sa result of tubag sa ginawa sa inyong tibuya. You need, we need to be, we need to take risks. We need to apply what we learn. Because learning or listening is a different thing than understanding and actually doing it. When we live a life of prayer, when you have no resentment, no guilt. Just going to the Lord in prayer. And Lord God help. Me. I'm stuck. I'm confused. Release your blessing upon me. Create opportunities. The next slide, please. There is power in prayer. When we as one unite in prayer as a church, have you noticed? Every time there is a new member in the church or a first timer, it is not a tradition that we raise our hands and stretch forth our hands to the first timer. That is actually an act of faith. That we are praying for that person to see the light, to see, to follow God, to enjoy the journey with Him. That is an act of faith. We pray for that first timer because we desire God's blessing to touch his or her life. And prayer can move mountains if you just believe. When you have that clear vision and trust in God, and then when you pray, Lord God, empty me. Because when God fills your cup, to the brim, it even overflows. When God supplies one, provides, He will always give more than that you can handle. And you will be surprised. We have to put our differences aside. Sometimes we think that our experiences are far better than the decision or the plans of the Lord in our lives. And we try to manipulate the work of God. We may not like the result or the answer to God's prayer, 
But did you not know what's it built in here? He had decisions in the boy. You just need to trust in him. We need to humble ourselves. We need to go on our knees. We need to bow down upon our Maker and ask Him, Lord, touch me. I empty my heart. I empty my mind so that you may fill it with your love, with your wisdom. We have to come to repentance, my friends. When we are so full, release forgiveness. Release forgiveness. We renew ourselves from the guilt of our past. We are living sometimes our lives because of the guilt that we have done. And we can never move on if we continue to carry the burden of what we have done before. You are not perfect. Neither any pastor or anyone in this world is perfect. We have to come to terms to that. That no one is perfect. Or our decisions in life will never succeed. We have to accept the reality of life. It is what it is. But what is important is that you allow God to, to transform you so that you will learn the process of transformation. And when transformation begins, it's going to hurt. Just like the preaching of Pastor Joner a couple of Sundays ago. Just like the pot. It will be need. It will be um, crumpled. It will be put in the stove. But the end result is a pot that is productive and useful. And that is our life. When we allow God to mold us. When we enjoy and learn the process of transformation. Because He will create a new creature in you. Amen. We, we allow Him to. We need to commit our lives to the Lord and open our hearts. And as a church, we have the power of prayer. What this church needs is every single one of us to have a prayerful life. And this church will ever get stronger. Amen? In Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Next slide, please. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. You know, sometimes you make things or simple things complicated. Release a prayer. Sometimes among a simple things in all, we may not see God, but we will surely feel it. Amen. So verse 1 to 1 Timothy chapter 2, it talks about giving God the top priority in our lives. Our priority and our petition. Request based on a deep sense of spiritual need and helplessness. Let go of the pride. Let go of your recognition. Release yourself thinking that you are above anything else. Then allow God to change your heart. The heart is the most deceitful organ in our body. It is also a life-bearing organ. But when it is full of pride, it is full of guilt. It is full of fear. It will sink us. So ask forgiveness to the Lord this evening. Lord, forgive my heart. Forgive my thoughts. But replace it with your assurance, with your confidence, with your trust. And I put my life in your hands. Allow the Lord to change your outlook in life. 
allow him to change your your mental pattern change your 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 thoughts emphasize the sacred nature of prayer we are praying to God not to anyone else respect his providence allow him to use you as an instrument and I tell you my friends when God will start to use you because it is not you but it is the work of God in your lives I see with my own eyes certain individuals in our church they were shy they were timid they were lost they were unconfident but when they released and allowed God to transform their lives God used them mightily in the ministry and God has plans for you too you're not just a mere attendee of our church but the church is a hospital so if you are weak you are broken welcome to the club because the church is not for the righteous and no one is righteous the church is the hospital we heal here we heal together and we come to the Lord in prayer so that we can heal as one. Amen? A lot of misconception is the church are only for those who are very righteous or perfect or living a life with so much joy. But to tell you the truth, a lot of people come to church broken, lost, fearful, are in doubt. And the church is there for you because we unite ourselves. And we worship Jesus Christ. Only Jesus Christ. It says there in, for, in, in, the, in the first verse, urge. It's a request. It's not a forful, a forcefully um, demanded, but it is encouraged all people, everyone to pray. Communicate. Have you tried talking to your husband or to your wife? You enjoy that conversation. But try to live. Usa ka si mana. Huwag istorya, istorya sa itong bahay. Medyo lisod ang paagi sa pagkinabuhi na huwag istorya, istorya. Di ba? Amen? Okay, pamulihan. It is important that we communicate to exchange ideas, to understand each other, to learn from each other, just like Jesus would want us to do to him. We need to communicate and communicate to Jesus Christ. So that we can learn. We can get information and wisdom from him. Next slide, please. For kings and those in authority, that we may live peacefully and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. All pastors, all workers, all life group leaders must have that quiet meditation or that quiet time because we lead as an example. The secret to a peaceful, quiet, and holy life is for a home to be a prayer house. When we pray together, we unite ourselves together. In verse 3 it says, This is good and pleases God our Savior. The things that we do, the, the prayer that we, we do, pleases the Lord. Good in itself, not just because of its result, but it pleases God. It pleases God. We desire God's pleasure in our lives, rather than His wrath. Mangandoyta sa iyang kalipay na ito, kaysa iyang kasuko. We desire His pleasure. My friends, our Heavenly Father wants everyone to be saved. But it is the stubbornness and pride of any man that prohibits that. He desires that we may know and be with Him intimately. Not just be with Him, but intimately. When you had, when you, your, 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 Early every day na ka ambot ka uba na ba to cell phone sa unang panahon magsigi mong suwat og letter kung nanguyap pa mo karon mo text 
Karon, kung sige kaya po mong text sa inyo asawa ko ba na? Or mong text ra kung naipangiyon or naipangpito na sunan? Or pahugasan or palabhon? But we need to communicate. He desires that we may know and be intimately with Him. And that we may know the truth. In John 14, verse 6, again on, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. That is Jesus Christ. He is the way. He is the truth. And the truth will always set us free. And we sang that song, Kanina, let us be free. Enjoy the freedom that the Lord has given. Sometimes we over burden ourselves with the problems that we face, that we forget the solution is Jesus Christ. Release that burden. Allow Jesus Christ to change your life. He gave himself a ransom for all people. This is now a been witness to a proper time. Jesus gave his life for you and for me. He died on that cross for you and for me. He paid the price for our sins. The sins that we have done before and until today, we must have reconciled it with the Lord. He took the blame, my soul. He shed the blood. He was crucified that we may all live. Amen. In John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. That is a promise that the Lord has given to each and every individual that comes to Him. The next slide. For those, for this purpose I am appointed a herald and an apostle. So a herald and an apostle. A herald is the one who announces good news. An apostle is a personal emissary of Jesus Christ. To all nations, tongues, and tribe, the name Jesus be lifted up high. It may sound ancient, but it is applicable to us today. Then let us be apostles. Let us be evangelists. Let us all be pastors by sharing the good news to the people who are needed outside. I tell you, the power of prayer that you can pray for someone is the best remedy or the best gift anyone can give. Because not only it will change your life, it's going to change the life of the person you pray for. And when you believe by faith, God will make it happen. Therefore, I want the men everywhere to pray, lifting up holy hands without eager or anger or disputing. We need Jesus Christ in our lives this year, 2021. The early 2021 January, for life does not look great so many rules and regulations the things of are uncertain ba sa mga na may vaccine na resulta sa vaccine paglibu ka kagagag vaccine sulubong gyap mo kag mask na gyap mo kay social distancing di gyap mo kag paluparon di gyap mo kag kalakaw Isik kiyo kaya po ng uman. Pero, papagsinit kaya po na. So, kung yung tinuod, atong i-happen sa tinuod. Lord, give me answers. Give me wisdom. Give me strength. The things that is happening in our lives has a purpose. Bisa kung saan na musupak ta anak na purpose, naglisod mong kung and later will you know when you overcome this challenge by God's grace you will learn 
the learnings and experience that you have went through. And aside from that, na ako yung ubang tao, yung mga silingan, yung parinti, yung kaila, are going through the same scenario sa yung kinabuhi. And you will be a blessing to them. Amen? Your life, my friend, is so valuable. The emotions that you are feeling right now, nai kaparihan ni mo. Pero may na lang ikaw na kadumog sa pulong sa ino. Kaya ikaw mahimong channel the blessing to that person. It may be your cousin. It may be your brother, your friend, your close relative. But whatever that transpired sa imong pinabuhi, allow Jesus Christ to touch you. So that you can be a blessing to that person. Amen. As men, we need to take initiative. Can you see the hands of the men? Isa mga taos mga laki. Pahalag, wapay kay asawa o girlfriend. We have a responsibility. Dili lang takutog mang laba. Dili lang takwili na pang luto. I wish to kaluto. But we have to take that initiative. Kung married ka, you need to be a pastor in your family. If you are in the twilight years, you need to focus on preparing yourself to pass on the baton of legacy to your children, to your niece and nephews, to your family. Kung batanon mong gani ka, you have friends that needs to know God's love in their lives. Do not be ashamed. People will ridicule you. People will tease you. They will mock you. But greater is he that is in you than he in this world. If you are not ashamed of him, he will not also be ashamed of you. Be scared of the person that can kill your body and your soul. Let us not be scared of earthly people. But what we are doing is for the Lord. Amen? Amen? As women, we need to care. We need to nurture. Increase your emotional therapy to one another. Like what Bishop Edgar said, let us be our sister keeper. A brother keeper. We need to think not of ourselves, but for the people that is beside us. You are valuable, my friend. As leaders, we need to lead. If you are in the leadership, may it be in your business, may it be in your, in your workplace, or in this church, or in your peers, in your group of Barkada, be a leader. Lead them to Jesus Christ. And your reward will be in heaven waiting for you. Okay, so life is very simple, yet very short. Kapuro tao na kong kinabuhin. Kung napuslan man, naata ka ron, buhit na ka ron. Dili pa ta statistics. Kung baga, dili pa ta kwilintada na namatay na. Let us make our life worth meaning. Pagamit na sino mo. Ampo ta. Maglikon ta. Because time is running short. As followers, we need to obey. As Christians, we need to stand and encourage and fight our enemy. Kung sa karison nga nang nawa ni akong bangas, at hindi nga siguro mo mo ni Hayag man ang dagway ni pastor. Nawa na sa buhok, nawa na sa niyang bungot. Mura na ang judurang. Katao sa buhay. Ako, confident pa kayo ito. Hingan niya ang dagway. Salamat si Kino. Tungon kay ni Apil Manmi sa AFP, Armed Forces of the Philippines, kami ni Pastor Boni. Ako ang asawa, Pastor Alea. Ni Apil May Tungon Kai, we want to serve. We want to prepare. Pero mga katoon sa big, kung sa na, counter-strike. So not only we prepare physically, prepared but we spiritually. Amen? 
So, sa mga requirement ana is pagtangtang sa bangas. So, akong five years of tipik-tipik sa akong bangas, aron, wala na. Pero sige lang, pintura man ito buwan. Balik lang din. Amen? Okay mga ha? Okay ra. Hallelujah. Kumbate, we need to release to receive more. Nasabtan ako? We need to, if we want or we desire God's work in our lives, release what you have. Take out the pride. Take out the insecurities. Release and give it to the Lord. And the Lord will change your life. And when He does change your life, tell a friend, a brother, a cousin, ang gugma sa ginoon na sa nang tinabuhi. My friends, it's very... It's always fine to walk with the Lord, especially when we pray every day. In the last verse in Colossians chapter 4, verse 2, devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Let us increase our prayer life. And in the last slide, God is the best doctor, and prayer is the best medicine. Amen? It doesn't cost anyone. Only time. But I always say this. Every day that you wake up is a day closer to your death. Puslan man ugma duls kamatayo. Walang puta. Magsanyaw tas kulong sino. Share to friends and family. Talk to the people that you once want ni mong kasturya. Release forgiveness. And you will be surprised how good and pleasant your life will be. Then you can say, I am free indeed. Being free is the best feeling anyone can ever have. And that spiritual freedom is worth it. So, we need to be serious in our lives. We need to increase our knowledge of God. We need to be committed. We need to have a devotion to Jesus Christ. Ang problema na to, given na na siya. Pero ang solution na ni mga Exxon is to have a close relationship with Jesus Christ. And once you'll be able to establish them, you can continue a life of liberty and joy. Not just happiness, but joy. As the time goes by, you can hold your husband and your wife and them, and when that time comes, in the twinkling of an eye, pagpilok sa ito mga mata, ito ang atas lagi. Makadumog tas budyong. When we hear the trumpet sound, we are changed to incorruptible bodies. And we begin to fly. Fly to our maker, to a place where has no illness. No more maintenance. No more pain. But singing of praises and hymns to the Lord. Now whatever you read in the Bible, you can see. If you want to challenge Samson, wow. You want to see Joseph, he's there. You want to see Peter, who was the first and only person who walked on water. And to be with Jesus Christ. Just like what the what you wali ni Pastor Jonathan about the feeding of the 5,000. All it takes is for one person to have that faith. Na ako Lord. Na ako ipan. Na ako isda. Gamitin Faith. And it fed 
more than 5,000 people. We need to step or level up our faith to God in prayer and meditation because your life will change when you allow Jesus Christ to touch your heart. God loves you, my soul. God has plans for you. Plans to prosper you. Give you hope. You will enjoy the freedom that only comes from Jesus Christ. Let's all stand. Now as you close your eyes, let us exercise. Let us apply what we have heard from the Word of God. Release forgiveness right now. To the people that has hurt you, release forgiveness. To the things that you have done wrong in the past, allow Him to change your heart and mind. Mga dreams, mga desires, your goals in life, give it to the Lord. Your business, your family, your relationship, your finances. Ito kaya nas kinaw. Lord, completely, Lord. I trust in you. Change me, Lord God, that I may learn the process of life. Transform me to a new creation, Lord God. Use me, Father. And after a small commitment to the Lord, what you want your life to do for Him, you ask it now. And make the covenant with Jesus Christ right now. That now and moving forward, your life will be in the hands of Jesus Christ. Have faith, brother and sisters. Allow Him to move you as an instrument. And enjoy the blessing that the Lord has instilled for you. Allow me to pray. Our most gracious and loving Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you this night to say thank you for the word. It is your word. And we adore you, God. Lord, we are in a crossroads of our lives. We are in difficulty. We are in mud. We are not worthy of your love, but you gave your son, Jesus Christ, who died on that cross for my sins and the sins of this world. Lord, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Wash all my sins away. Forgive me, Father. Forgive me, Lord. Renew my heart. Write my name in that book of life. That when you take me home, I'll be there beside you. Lord, use my life. Increase my meditation, my, my, my desire to talk to you. Renew my life. That everything will come out best. Success, prosperity, and blessings will follow. Lord, I pray, Lord, for everyone here that is renewing their vow with Jesus Christ. I pray, Lord, for that commitment to be achieved. And I pray for blessing to be instilled to everyone that hears your name, Lord God, and claims your name, Jesus Christ. May you bless them abundantly, that their cup will also overflow. Father, we thank you. We give you back all the glory, all the adoration, and all the praise. In your mighty, precious name, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.